What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if your name is Sean Diddy Combs, you got so many problems. You got 99 problems in a BA one. Y'all, what am I talking about? Diddy, first of all, I want to say thank you to Ross 7 Galley. Thank you so much for the super chat. And baby, thank you for joining me for this special live. Listen, let me tell y'all something, okay? Um, there is something very, very, very wrong in Diddy's world. And baby, mwah, chef's kiss. I love that for him. This is his karma, y'all. I've been snooping. I've been doing some research. I wanted to do a quick live to catch you in on everything. So y'all know this live is going to be six hours because I said it was going to be quick. One, 50 Cent is making a documentary. He is doubling down. Him and Diddy have always had some type of competition and he is enjoying seeing Diddy fall too. Diddy got problems. Diddy, the, thank you everybody that told me that Diddy was 54. Who cares? Okay. Diddy, but thanks for telling me. Diddy got problems. One, remember how I did a video about criminal charges? If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It deals with the state version. I want to go on live and let y'all know about the federal charges he might be facing. That's right. I said it. The federal charges he may be facing. And also, a really quick title tells, let's talk about the cases. Diddy thought it was over. That rain ain't let up. A storm came. The best I can do in Diddy is make an analogy, right? And just listen to me on this. A storm came from the east, New York, of all the mess Diddy was doing, and he thought he had, like, moved past it. Baby, Diddy just didn't know. It's not over. Diddy is going to be fighting off these charges until 2026. New people are going to come forward, I think, under the Survivors Act until 2026. I know what y'all saying, Tisa, how can that be? It was only until what? Um, what was it till? Uh, in, in, it just passed in November in New York City. But baby, there's another Survivors Act and it is a hot bed. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about Diddy's underage problems. You know that lawsuit that he has now is coming from an underage girl? What if I told you that that's not the only lawsuit he has from underage girls? What if I told you that the streets are saying that this is part of a larger problem? What if I told you that as much as these bots, and I swear they're paid bots, because here's how you can tell paid bots. Let me just get this out, right? But first, let me turn this air conditioning on. It is hot out here. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to turn my ear on. Don't hang up. I'm putting my ear on. Don't hang up. One second. One second, guys, I'm coming back. Okay. I'm back. Hi, guys. Did you miss me? Okay, I'm back. Hi. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I had to turn my ear on. Anyway, thanks for not hanging out. Okay, so... People are saying that this whole thing that's going on with Diddy is part of a larger problem in the music industry. See, here's the thing. Everybody want to talk about, oh, my God, they were paid money. They were this. They were that. Y'all, the fact that something of value might have been exchanged literally puts the nail in Diddy's coffin for federal stuff. On top of that, OK, people are saying that Diddy's behavior and bad boys as a staff, a record label and a mother and a mother and an MF and crew. Right. This is the ghost of Tupac getting karma when he said F, bad boy as a staff, a record label and an MF and crew. He had no idea that baby he really was North Dramas. Anyway, y'all. So. People are saying it's part of a larger thing. People are saying that as much as people want to talk trash, right, that they really wanted the young girls. They was doing so many crazy things that if they had gotten a woman their age, the women their age would have been looking at them crazy. They preyed on young girls. They wanted these young girls. That's what they were into. All right. 
Now that said, Ruby Red, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Now I know what y'all say. Tisa, stop talking like you the MF and troll underneath the bridge, talking about some really this and I'll give you three clues. Let me tell y'all what I'm really talking about, right? Where y'all want to start at? First, let's start about 50 cents because that's the funny thing. 50 cents is going for the jugular. <laughs> He's going for the Jack Lover Diddy. He is saying that he is, this documentary has already started filming. Mark Curry going to be in there. What I want to know is, is America's father, Gene Dill, is America's father, Gene Dill, going to be in that documentary? Yo, if anybody knows Gene Dill, can y'all please give him my number? I would love to have my favorite unk on the channel. Gene Dill cracks me up. They are 100% filming the documentary. And just to make sure that 50 Cent gets as much publicity as he can, you know, he just announced to TMZ that he is going to give all the proceeds to victims of domestic violence. Now, listen, I can't laugh. I can't knock that. Good for 50 Cent. But we all know he's doing this because Diddy can't stand him. Now, listen, I'm not going to point out that at one time, 50 Cent's baby mom accused him of burning down their house so he didn't have to pay for that house anymore and leaving them homeless. I'm not going to talk about that right now because, baby, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, 50 Cent actually released something to TMZ and he threatened to actually blow up Rick Ross's spot. Listen, they said 50 Cent is getting ready to roll out a documentary on Diddy and his recent drama, but the money made from a project is slated to benefit a good cause. The get rich or die trying rappers, uh, whoever, right, who writes this mess for, T for TMZ? Whoever does, I want them fired. I hate reading their stuff. The get rich or die trying rappers upcoming documentary plans to highlight the many accusations hurled Diddy's way. In the past few weeks, and he announced on Wednesday that the profits are going to charity. Mm, mm, mm. He said all G-Unit film and television proceeds from this documentary will go to victims of S.A. and Grape. Mark Curry going to be in it. So many people. A rep for 50 Cent's a G-Unit film and television confirmed to TMZ Hip Hop that this documentary is currently in development. And all G-Unit film and television proceeds from this documentary will go to victims of A and rape. Now, get this. He shared a new interview clip featuring uh, Mark Curry, where the bad boy for life rapper claims Diddy used to host parties and give spiked bottles and bleep to women in attendance. Now, this is all I'm going to say. If you heard that, Mark Curry. Mark Curry was funny and amusing, and he tried to play like a good guy. But the fact that all these mofos were sitting around Diddy like hyenas, literally like Diddy's scar sauntering in there. Hello, Simba. Where's your father? Right? Diddy sauntering around like scars, sickly and ill shaping, right? Literally talking about some, yeah, bring me young girls. And all these mofos are acting like the hyenas that used to be like, <laughs> following Scar around, because at the end of the day, Mark Curry, so you knew there was a bottle that was allegedly spiked, and y'all was doing the Diddy Bop right in the club, because you know back then, mofos was probably in the club, corny as all, get out, right? Literally, probably bopping, we ain't going nowhere, we, you know the VIP, we ain't because we bad boy for life. And you know, there are probably women now that will not admit that they were like, me, 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 pick me. I want to go into, you know, I want to go into the VIP. So they was living their life. And when you invited these girls upstairs, and again, I think they picked underage girls because they easier to manipulate. They easy to manipulate. And also, really quick, this is a tangent. I swear to God, Diddy, well, I can't say I know for certain Diddy's doing it. But I'm saying that someone is paying for trolls to be in the comments of every blog. Because you know how you know the trolls? Because when you have troll farms, troll farms, depending on how much money you have, like on the Kardashian level, they actually leave comments. They do this, they do that, right? The way you shut down trolls is you just block them. Because if every single time they have to make new accounts to harass you or to leave fake stuff, it costs them more, Okay. But one way in my mind that you can tell that people are paid troll farms on a high level is the comments they leave and the comments you read sound eerily, eerily similar. 
you know, almost like eerily similar, like they got the same marching orders. Listen to the mess that's been in my comments. The girl knew she was 17 and she knew she shouldn't be in clubs, let alone go to the bathroom with a grown man. Is she really a victim? Yeah, I said it. Everybody want a payday. And mind you, this is, and all the troll accounts always got some account. Like this is the way the Abby's look in troll accounts, right? Hold on. Right, that's the way the Abby look. It be zoom the F in. They do that because AI, when you zoom in, they can't tell that Abby pick. So it'd be like either that or they'd be doing like, it'd be like muscle men or something like that or somebody's grandmother looking so sweet or it'd be zoomed in like this. Right? That's how you know it's a troll account. The Abby, you click on it, it was created a couple of years later or everybody they follow is a troll account. But also unique style. Thank you for the super chat. You said, can't wait till you get your own show tea. Uh, let me get comfy for this tea. Honey, get comfy. Grab some water or some uh, cranberry juice. Tis the season as we know. But honestly, so then I got other trolls. Now, I, I blocked a bunch of them. But this was like, honestly, like at least 30 comments all saying the same thing. Listen to this one. Not trying to talk shh on victims, but what the WTF did she go in a bathroom with a man and knowingly smoke? Crack, 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 crack. We all, we all been, we all been go, going before, but did y'all do dumb ish like this? I didn't. Okay, first of all, tell me you in a call center in the global south without telling me, and they gave you your little checklist for hood a bon bonnets. No, you don't say, do you know what I mean? You say, yeah, mate, y'all mean, right? You don't say, nah, we not doing that. You know how they just do the abonics when you're like, shut up, you ain't a real black person. Anyway, right? They said, we all been doing before, but did y'all do dumb-ish like this? I didn't. Good for you, Doogie Hauser MD. You know what cracks me up though? And I'll, the way people come into the comments, they'd be like, she, and it's just, she deserve it. When are you doing that? When I was young, when I was young, since you know so much, Nostradamus, since you smarter than everybody, Nostradamus, since you had all this inherent knowledge when you was 15, 16, 17, drop your resume, drop your LinkedIn profile. These people telling me when I, I was, I was, I was old enough to know. I was all you so smart, Doogie Hauser MD. Drop your MF and LinkedIn link because I want to see what you did with your life since you were so much smarter than everybody else, since you knew what it means, since you stayed out of trouble. What did this life of knowledge that the average 16 or 17 year old didn't have, what did it get you in life? I want to see that. Drop your LinkedIn. Literally, I'll put it up on the Summer Jam screen. Drop your LinkedIn resume since you know so much Bill Nye science guy. Shut, if not, shut the H up. Cause you ain't know that much. Cause if you did, you'd be running this world. Literally, shut up. I knew this. I knew that. Drop your LinkedIn page. Drop your history with men. Drop your date. Drop your OK Cupid dating profile. Show me something that this infinite knowledge you had when you were 15, 16, and 17 to keep you being keep you from being preyed upon by men double and triple your age. That every woman has had to fend with since you started looking grown, not feeling grown, but since men have considered you grown, which is for most girls around 13, 14, show me what this infinite knowledge you got except for delusions that make you feel better than the next girl. Shut up. I would. I knew, shut up, shut up. But you even invited to the parties, You're talking trash. You wasn't even invited to the parties. Anyway, y'all, let me keep going, right? Anyway, right? Um, uh, so anyway, this, the troll that keeps going says had a baby, but didn't sneak in a bathroom with the stranger and play the victim afterward. What the fuck is <laughs> WTF is wrong with people on both sides. The famous and the groupies at all ages, shame on everyone. So worried about money that you let sh go down again, every single comment that I blocked all had the same narrative. And I do think that these are, maybe it's not Diddy, but somebody is paying for trolls to defend Diddy. What's his, what are the talking points? One, what was she doing there? Having a good time, being grown, drinking alcohol, not letting. What was she doing there? Living her MF in life. What was she doing there? Being young, dumb, and stupid, right? 
Even our founding fathers knew that when you are young, you are dumb and you are stupid. I don't understand. That's like saying, what was you doing out like at the monster's lair? I don't know, but are y'all going to catch this monster? Cause they like eaten like the villagers heads off. Y'all can sit in my face all day and ask, what was I doing outside to get bit by the monster? But he's still running around biting everybody. Right. Also, right. Um, uh, also, so narratives, what was she doing? This ain't the ish on victims, but, or, you know, the only person I believe is Cassie. Why? Because Cassie got paid out. On top of that, you're asking what she was doing, smoking crack, 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 in the bathroom or being with somebody. Are we going to, can somebody, excuse me, <clears throat> I'd like to thank you all for coming for Tisa's Tabernacle Church. Is Brother Harvey Pierre here? Can someone please call Harvey Pierre to the front of the congregation? We would like to uh, have a word with them. Also, if nobody can go into the bathroom for about two minutes, it seems that Harvey Pierre was uh, found a uh, half drinking bottle of Fanta, ripped that, mo ripped that mofo apart, got some cracker, 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 rock, put it in there, and he has been smoking in the, lab Lord, the laboratory of the Lord's house. Y'all, how are people asking what she was doing in the bathroom, smoking blank rock, or not even that, being around someone that smoked blank rock, but we're not talking about the actual mofo that was acting like Pookie from New Jack City. Y'all, these trolls, y'all need a better narrative. So they're trying to create doubt. She is just a groupie. And look at Sean. This is another thing I want to say from um, uh, Diddy's, uh, what is it? Diddy did an apology, not apology. He did his enough is enough. The funny thing is every time, I know he did, wrote this to feel like masculine and like he thought he was for enough is enough. But the way I read it was my grandmother. Enough is enough, right? I don't know, I just, is it okay? All I heard was, ooh, girl, security. That's all I heard. Enough is enough. Se ooh, girl, sassy, security. Anyway, right? Listen to this, how finely worded it is with, um, did I finish what was going on with the trolls? That's right. So the, you're going to see something recurring. One, she shouldn't have been there. Two, she was being grown. Three, y'all remember what it was that age. You know, they wanted it. Four, you know what? Like, leave these rappers and groupies alone because they want to turn it into a moral thing. If you hadn't been there and offered yourself, they wouldn't have done anything. And I just want to know, y'all, it's 2023. We got to stop. Like, a monster is not allowed to be a monster and everybody got a village. Gotta like hide from them. Y'all saw Beauty and the Beast. Yo, y'all saw we riding out with Gustav tonight and going up to the MF and Hill. And this time Beauty is not going to get in the way. And we're going to literally put two shots to the dome and three in the heart for Beast. That should have been what happened with Beauty and the Beast. But Belle's tired ass was like, no, I love him. Speaking of, and this is the last thing I'll say, because, you know, Beauty and the Beast is a why did Gustav get? Because Gustav was a hot piece. Every girl in the village wanted him. Gustav wasn't cheating. Gustav, no. He was just sexy and he knew it. Every girl in the village wanted him and he wanted Belle. This beast literally almost tried to murk Belle's dad. We talking about Beauty and the Beast, uh, the cartoon version. Tried to murk da Belle's dad. Kidnapped Belle, had her crying into her cornflakes every morning. So much the candlestick and the toaster was like hopping over like, you know, oh, sweetie, be our guest. They had to cheer her up. The whole, the feather dust and everything had to get into it. Gustav was like, yo, niggas, we ride at noon. Let's go get Belle. He taught the whole village to go rescue her. And she's like, no, leave him alone. And some, Gustav was the evil person? Because, listen, listen, anyway, it, that's always bothered me. They need to make out, well, listen, we going to be like Gustav and right behind him. And we going to put two shots in that monster's dome. Because let me tell y'all something, right? Listen to this excuse that he wrote. And this is supposed to be his denial. But and maybe it is true because it hasn't been court proven in a court of law whether he is innocent or not. 
The streets are talking. He maintains his innocence. He says this is all lies and money grabs. And at this point, until it goes to court, we're going to have to make our own minds up. You know, don't even listen to what I say. I'm giving y'all my opinion. But if you want, go to watch my channel, but also go to Google, do your own research, and then let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, right? Listen to this. Enough is enough. Oh, girl, spicy security. For the last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. And when I read that, I said, that is very surprising because I thought you were liquidating assets because you had to pay Cassie like a big chunk of your fortune. But I didn't know that. Sorry, Diddy. I didn't know. I thought you were liquidating assets. I thought you were staging a comeback. I didn't know that you were just silently watching people try to assassinate my character and destroy my reputation and legacy. I thought you were furiously making every woman in your life um, literally put the, like, wear the acetone cover so they can take off the white, fing white fingernail gel polish. But I guess I was wrong. Sorry, Diddy. Listen to this. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Why do they want a quick payday? Because Cassie's lawyer filed a second lawsuit against you. And this boy do not come with any maybes. He has evidence. He has evidence. It's real evidence. Wigmore is not Wigor is not going to go there with nothing. This man is an MFM beast. I swear he's an, I swear to you, he is an MF and beef. I read his resume, but just Google him, Google him, right? So words matter. And the way people phrase words matter. He said, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Now, when I read that sentence, I said, sickening allegations, but are they true? They might be sickening, but are they true? And also, individuals looking for a quick payday. Um, this is defamation. If I was Wigmore, I would be like, I will sue you for defamation if you don't remove that from my client. But let's keep going because here's how it all connects. So I said, but did you do it? He said, he said, let me be absolutely clear. Anytime somebody says, let me be absolutely clear, they about to literally rub like, like dirty fingers all over your, your, your screen, dip their hands in Vaseline and wipe it all over your window. Anyway, they said, listen to what he said. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. Now, funny thing, because words matter. When you look at it, awful has two spaces in it instead of one between awful and things, right? But when you get into the nature of words, when you get into the way legal things are worded, when you get into PR, when you get into press, you need to realize that they try to mislead you by putting words in there to make you think one way. So you're in like the room, like, you know, uh, sickening allegations. OK, we're in with you. These allegations are sickening. They're awful. And then he says. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. But did he, and we all know this from a lawyer's point of view, did you do any of the things alleged? Because whether or not something is awful is a matter of opinion. There's no awful in the dictionary for acts. Did you do any of them? Instead of just saying, I did not do any of the things alleged you wrote i did not do did not do any of the awful things alleged so some things are true but the things that i find disgusting despicable and <clears throat> sickening and awful to quote diddy you didn't do those things he literally hit us with a yo did you do this why is that a problem what you mean did you do it i mean it if it's a problem, I didn't do it. But if you wanted it to happen, yeah, absolutely, that was me. Again, y'all might think I'm nitpicking, but Diddy is paying his lawyers an arm and a leg. They do not let a, 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 any word, any syllable, any comma, any punctuation go without it being 
thoroughly tested, and I mean thoroughly tested and run through. So the fact that he said, oh my God, there's sickening allegations. Okay, so we're in the room that the allegations are sickening. And I did not do any of the awful things being alleged, but did you do any of the things, did he? I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. So what's what, what's the time now? What's the time now? Um, it is, let's see, what time is it in New York? One second, guys. It is 8.46. Uh, you, it is 8.46 p.m. Um, in New York City. So are we going to take like a little pool? Who do you want? Do you guys want under or over? Who thinks Diddy is going to settle by 8.46 uh, p.m. Uh, December 8th? Um, do we have any takers for that? Who thinks that he is going to settle by Monday morning at 8.46 p.m.? Because didn't he take that hard line with Cassie? I would never, ever, 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 I would never, ever, 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 ever be your side bitch. I put the scene back in single. No, Okay, anyway, let me not sing Lizzo either. Anyway, right? Lizzo, what happened with her lawsuit? Because the way those dancers were um, accusing her, she sounded like the female Diddy, Right? You definitely got to eat your bananas every day. Anyway, y'all, let's get into this. Okay, let me read some more. Azor TV said, let's not forget, they called R. Kelly's victims groupies. Just women thirsty to be around a celebrity. We not buying the storyline. I know that's right, Azor TV. We are not buying it. Thank you for the super chat. Green Lantern Corpse TV, thank you so much, said, wrong questions. Fact, uh, who supplies the D? How see how far that cartel goes up the nose at the top of the world of the league. You know what? Let me tell you something, Green Lantern Corpse uh, TV. First of all, thank you for sending me a super chat. Second of all, I swear to God, y'all know me. Three weeks ago, I would have said, yo, girl, stop. Whatever you drink and smoke and just be quiet. However, Green Lantern Corpse TV, after what we've seen unfold in the last two weeks, you might be closer to the truth than we think. Honestly. Because a couple of weeks ago, somebody told me that Diddy's freak offs and all that mess exists, and Cameron and Mace was going to be acting a fool, and Nick Cannon going to be like, he don't know how to fit. And, and like, they've been playing his songs for Christmas, and Bad Boy don't got any Christmas songs. Yo, exactly. Who supplies this mess? How far up the cartel uh, goes up the nose at the top of the leap? I'm just saying. Green Glance and Corpse, you might have a point. Taylor, thank you so Oh, and I love the red hair. Look, y'all, look at this. Now, this is fashion. Taylor, first of all, thank you for the super chat. And Taylor got her emoji uh, screen, the same as that hair. I love a good copper red. Oh, thank you, Taylor. Again, you blessed me twice. You said respect the hustle, girl. Thank you, Taylor. Oh, oh three times, once, twice. Three times a tailor. Okay, let me stop singing before my boyfriend comes downstairs. Like, what that H E double hockey sticks? Bukati, thank you so much for the super chat. Said these demons have been these evil things for a while. We don't know how many victims are afraid to come out because of shame, and how many have passed away without getting the chance to say something. That is so true. You know what? Let me stop making jokes and actually get back on the serious tip because. Um, Let's see. Here's the thing. So, fit, oh, yeah. So that's what I mean about Mark Curry. All these men from Bad Boy coming out and talking about what did you do to stop him? Because Mark Curry was sitting there. Diddy wasn't paying him nothing except in P. And apparently Diddy didn't even own the P. He was just like, like, literally, he was just getting everybody wild effed up, according to Cassie and the lady suing him. And at the end of the day, all the guys were happy to benefit. All the guys was happy to pour the champagne for the girls, see them passed out. And when Diddy was done with them, they would take their turn. Because, you know, Diddy and his crew are the epitome of it literally ain't no fun and my homies can't have nothing. Interestingly enough, he also um, puts a mess in uh, with Rick Ross. Oh, I forgot that. He literally, uh, he also threw shots at Rick Ross. Is Rick Ross going to be the next one to fall? I know Diddy, not Diddy, but 50 is trying to get all his enemies out. And baby, you better do it. 
He said the U E E N O lyrics about slipping women, rock, females Molly in their champagne, and then and when they're not looking, oh my God, wait, wait, this is getting to my mind. Remember when there was a scandal? This was like years ago, maybe eight, nine years ago, I think. Y'all know my memory. When Rick Ross had to apologize for lyrics about slipping women narcotics. Do y'all, hold on, let me Google this. I remember this. Do y'all remember this? Let me go to the chat. Oh, thank you, Amalio. Amalios, thank you for following up. This is a very important topic. Shut them all down. Thank you so much. Do y'all remember that? The rip, yeah, the rip, but do y'all remember when he literally issued a apology for it? Let me find this, this thing. Hold on. This is important. Rick Ross, Rick Ross apologizes for Molly lyrics. Hold on. I remember this was all over the news. Yes. This was in April 12th. Oh, my God. Do you think 50 Cent is about to expose Rick Ross? Listen to this. This is a headline from April 12th. 2013. It was in the Royal, I'm sorry, the Rolling Stones, the Los Angeles Times, the Guardian, Spin Magazine. Does Spin Magazine still exist? Oh my, CNN and Sky News. They said, so Rick Ross bungles date grape lyric apology as fur grows. Um, as women's group petition sponsor Reebok to drop American rapper, he said, I just wanted to reach out to all the sexy ladies. So now I remember what happened. Rick Ross had just gotten a brand deal with Reebok. I think he actually got dropped before the brand even came out because people started looking at his lyrics and saying that he glorifies great. So um, Rick Ross tried to issue an apology. And they said he apologized for the recent song lyric in which he appeared to brag about grape. Amid a rising storm of protests, Rick has tried to reassure his corporate sponsors, saying he would never promote violence against women. The offending line appears in the song U-O-E-N-O. -E, you already know. What does that mean? Anyway, he said, put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't even know it. Molly's a nickname for MDMA. Okay, thank you. Listeners complained to several hip hop radio stations in March. This is in 2013. Yeah, 2013. Um, uh, da, 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 da. To several hip hop radio stations, the women's rights group Ultra Violent launched a campaign asking Reebok to drop Rick as a celebrity spokesman. They did. Why would Rick Ross, big self, be a Reebok spokesperson? Have y'all seen any Reebok sneakers, especially back then? Not before they got back into their dad uh, bag. Like now they're into dad sneakers, so it's a little more structure. He was promoting Reeboks when they had that soft leather, you know, the soft leather exterior, the kind that if you wore it more than three days, it would start leaning to the side and looking scuffy. I'm just saying, I don't think those sneakers had the support for Rick Ross's wide feet. So it wasn't really a natural fit, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm not even being funny. It just, no. The, uh, Reeboks, you needed something more structured. You needed a pair of Air Jordans. You know, you needed a pair of Nike Cordatas, if you will, Air Force Ones. But soft leather Reeboks, the old school one, there's just no way they can support your feet. So that Reebok probably realized that and was like, we're going to drop him. Anyway, right? Um, more than 70,000, 72,000 people signed the petition that Ultraviolet had, and they staged a protest at Reebok's flagship store in Manhattan. In a statement last week, this is what Rick Ross said. He respects women to the utmost. Anytime you hear a ninja say they respect women to the utmost, you know that they got you diddied in the basement. He said, things like date grape shouldn't be glorified, but... With that being said, I don't think taking rap lyrics as straight facts is ever the way to go. In reality, some people do these things and, and it shouldn't be bought the light so young and shouldn't it be bought the light so young women can protect themselves. Somebody said 
you promoting date grape. And your response is, first of all, I want to sex that like, and people are out there doing it. So he's shining a light on it. You know, I, it makes me happy when people that are bad gaslighters actually gaslight. It makes me happy because you could just look at them like, are you dumb? Anyway, they said speaking. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get into the super chat because Rick Ross is really trying it. Also, they said speaking of um, speaking to a New Orleans hip hop radio station. Rick said that there was a misunderstanding and a misinterpretation. He said the term grape wasn't used. You know, I would never use the term grape in my records. I just wanted to reach out to all the sexy ladies, all the beautiful ladies that have been reaching out to me with the misunderstanding. We don't condone grape and I'm not with that. Anyway, Rick, Rick Ross is an idiot, 50 about to take him down. And yes, he got a history of it. And he was bragging about it just like Puffy was. Hold on, because we're about to get into some really interesting stuff about the, the criminal charges and also the federal charges that Diddy's facing. And also the fact that this wasn't, unfortunately, Diddy's first time with a young lady. And by young, I mean that y'all remember that lawsuit that that girl or girls i think it's two of them <sighs> refreshing there's two girls that are pressing lawsuits against diddy one of them i think is pressing against diddy at our hall did y'all read that complaint because i'm reading this jane doe's complaint and the other girl's complaint because y'all I don't think this girl is the first underage girl that Diddy's being sued by. And I actually think that that girl from reading the complaint that Diddy and Aaron Hall are being sued by, I actually think that she was a girl when it happened. Because I find it very interesting when you read the complaint. And I'll go through the whole complaint because it is so vicious and so brutal. We got to read it. It's actually worse than Cassie's. Um, that age wasn't listed. And usually when age isn't listed in a legal complaint, it gives you a hint. You can't be sure, but it gives you a hint that the person might be under 18. And if that's true, that means that Aaron Hall, true to his nasty, yucky, mud, rough, dirty, disgusting, flea-ridden self, right? And Diddy, diary, adoring, gray, Dr. Jekyll, um, Mr. High, busty, musty, white finger now, but you know, putting you up to do stuff with ends. But at the end of the day, he probably want to get in there. They talk about Diddy used to sit there and watch Cassie. The way I'm reading stuff about Diddy and the things I'm hearing on the street, he probably was just sitting there watching like, mm -mm, let me show you what a real bad B do. Waiting to be like, yo, tag me in, tag me in. I'm just saying, I think a lot of those artists at Bad Boy, they kept women in between them because you know they needed that that little shield of uh, of delusion you know what i'm saying anyway let me get to these super chats um let's see oh flavia thank you so much for the super chat flavia parker pitt said i'm catching up on your last video did we get them because the last girlie can file uh yeah yes the last girlie can file criminal charges we're gonna come back to you flavia Yes, she can. She 100% can. And we not talking about New York State, y'all. I went digging through the canons of justice and I found the federal code that she can file. And also this goes out to all the tattletales. And people don't like me. People can't stand me. It don't matter. I'm here because I want everybody to get a bag. You know that New York Survivors Act that Cassie came out and like pushed on Diddy and Diddy folded like literally, did he fold it? Mm. Well, right? Guess what? If you or anybody you love has been a victim of Diddy or any Diddy like crimes, I and you live in the California area or you were flown and trafficked to a California area for any 
wealthy and powerful man or woman's amusement. I would encourage you to get in touch with a lawyer. Do you know why? Because the New York Survivors Act has expired. But one thing lawmakers and Hollywood doesn't want you to know is California has their own version of that Survivors Act that lifts the statute of limitations and lets you go after these mofos that took advantage of you. But get this, it don't expire till 2026. New York only gave you one year. It expired in 2024. California Survivor Act, the same act that Cassie sued from in New York. It's like the same statute, but it's in California state instead of New York state. It doesn't expire until 2026. You have two years to get your ish in order. You have two years to see if a lawyer will take your case. You got two years to collect your evidence. Don't let that go. Diddy was frequently in LA. He has a house in LA. Diddy is fighting because now he is scared. He thought all he had to worry about was New York, baby. He was doing dirt in California too. It does not expire. Please find a way to get your claims heard. If something happened to you or anybody you love, it don't matter. Go get that money because that's all they care about. Okay, but we're also going to get into the federal stuff in a second. Green, La Green Latin Corpse TV, thank you so much, said, facts, Cassie for after free golf. Were there any ladies who were DOA or missing? Honestly, we don't know about DOA. We don't know about missing. Now, I do want to say that in that Aaron Hall Diddy complaint, the witness said that Diddy basically graped her. I'm going to go into it tomorrow, did all this stuff, then beat the crap out of her. Again, it has not been proven in court, but she has filed in court. So she wants her day in court. Okay. Speak, speak on it with your girl. Marcella said they raided his home, 32 tapes found law enforcement, get them all. Thank you, Lord. Wait a second. Let me see. They raided Diddy's home. Hold on. Raided Diddy's home. Hold on. Wait, what's this? Is this real? No, this is just a rumor. They haven't date. Uh, hold on, let me make sure though. No, no, they haven't raided his home yet. The FBI has not raided Diddy's home at all. They did rate, you know, the guy uh, that was, what's his name, G. Nah, Diddy's home hasn't been raided. Nah. It hasn't. Oh, wait. Wait, I just found something. One second, guys. I'm reading it right now. No. Nah. Mm. Okay, never mind. Diddy's home was not rated. Sorry, I thought I found something. His home was not raided. I'm sorry, y'all know. I was like doing my research, like, hmm, hold on, hold on. No, his home has not been raided, but I wouldn't be surprised. So anyway, let me read from my notes because I want to get to the point. I'm going to expand on this in my live tomorrow, but I want y'all to know if you or anybody you love has been the victim of anybody, right? Make sure in California, you can file charges like Cassie did until 2026. They will be civil charges unless they happened, I think, in the last eight or 10 years. And then if they will be criminal. But interestingly enough, right? Um, in New York right now, there is a 20 year statute of limitations for suing somebody civilly when it comes to those Diddy stuff. And also criminally, there is a, I think, I think, I think 
uh, like somewhere between eight and 10 years. Okay. The woman that is accusing Diddy right now and the two women that are being, that are suing Diddy, they are outside of statute of limitations for criminal, but not civil. Except, 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 right? For the TVPA Act. You all know what that is? The TVP Act. That is the blank traffic ring around the Rosie Traffic Victim Protection Act. It is a federal law that was enacted. Now, what triggers a federal law, if you guys don't know? In order for a federal law to be triggered, because usually feds leave the state to do their own thing as long as they follow the Constitution. But what triggers a federal law? If you ever want to get in trouble with the feds doing anything and have them come in, all you have to do is do something that crosses state lines. So let me give you an example of that, right? Say you are in New York, right? And these guys are like, yo, you want to go to Club Cheetah, Club Amnesia, to Venus and Dizia, to Dublin and Dublin. And they take you to it's Amnesia, Cheetah, like whatever. And then they're just like, yo, let's go to the Blue Rhino out in Jersey. So you go, not even that, let's just go to Jersey City, right? Hoboken. So you get in the tunnel and you go over to Hoboken. Now, anybody knows from New York to actually get into the Holland Tunnel from like Lower East Side or Soho, it'll maybe take you 25 minutes to get out the city. Let's just say you stop at that first gas station right outside the Holland Tunnel where the Home Depot is, right? And you pull over and you make that girl give you some guap got 3000 right? You make, I don't know the way Diddy roll. You make that boy give you some goop, goop, 6,000, right? But you're in the parking lot of the Home Depot. And then you turn around and you like drop them off on the doorstep until you want to return back and like beat them up, right? According to all the complaints. So what does that do? Because even though you just went like 13, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how long it took you to get out the city, it goes on the show that You have officially taken somebody over state law lines. So that's the first element you need to say, oh, okay. So federal, this, so that triggers federal. So now you're like, okay, it triggers federal. So any federal laws that you violated could apply to the circumstances. Let's see what federal laws you violated. Let's think about it. So you moved one person from one state to another. And you did it because you wanted to leave New York where your friends and girls and stay. And you wanted to do something in a Home Depot parking lot, okay? And you know, people are like, oh my God, that just means you a groupie. That just means you this, you answer you that. All he did was promise you a picture. All he did was promise you clout. Well, this is the interesting thing because we need to actually look at the, the, the definition of what trafficking is, okay? And we need to actually look at the legal definition because a lot of these things that these trolls are in the comments are saying, oh my God, that's just groupie. That's just what groupies do. Okay, just to let you know, trafficking is blank, right? Blank relations, right? In exchange for the promise of anything of value, you can promise them a half a Newport and a sip of your strawberry kiwi apple. You can promise them a quarter of your oatmeal cream pie. You can promise them fame, a record contract. You can promise them that they can come and spend the night with you. You can promise them that you will think of them fondly and look out for them and they can name drop. See, here's the thing with chocolate. It's considered blank in exchange for anything of power, in, I'm sorry, anything of value. And the anything of value is something very, very broad. It can just go on and on and on, right? Anything of value, both tangible, here's a fur coat, here's some Gucci shades, here's free tickets to the, to the next bad boy reunion, right? Here's like $3, go buy me some Sour Patch Kids in Home Depot, I'm hungry now. Or it can be intangible, access, your career, looking out for you, protecting you, not destroying you. 
helping you get ahead, promising they won't destroy your career and pull you back. That is something of value. If you have blank with someone in order to receive something of value and you are moved across state lines, then under the definition for the federal government of blank trafficking, you have been trafficked, trafficked across straight lines and state lines and the federal government will come and intervene. Y'all, Diddy right now is in violation, if these women can be believed, and I 100% believe them, of the TVPA Act, that is the uh, Blank Trafficking Victim Protection Act. Yes, Diddy may have had grape in first degree under New York because that never expires. He may get jammed up in, what am I saying? Maybe I know already that there are, well, I can guess there are a few people in Kelly that are going to come out, right? And not just Diddy, a lot of people should be scared. So when we look at that, you got to actually think Diddy is shaking. And the reason he's coming out to defend is because he is afraid that criminal charges, right? are coming super, super soon. Again, the feds are not dumb. They know it's triggered. The girl is 100% within the statute of limitations and the ball is complete in her court. The only problem is, right? Diddy thinks he can fight it because he thinks he can win the war in public opinion. But what happens if that girl can get the jury sympathy? What happens if the juror looks just like her? What happens when there is a Caucasian woman sitting on the stand crying about what Diddy did to her? See, Diddy was fine to keep that mess in the hood, but what happens? And I'm not saying like one is better or worse than the other. What I am trying to say is, I don't think Diddy's ready for this PR fight. I really honestly don't. I just, I just don't, I just don't. And it also made me realize how did, did he do this? I, I think that victim, she was 16, 17, 18, 15, 14. Don't quote me on this. I'll get the numbers tomorrow, right? Something under age. But how did his white fingernail crew look on pale skin? You know what? It's not my issue. Let me get back into the super chats. Woo. Let's see. Marcella said, is that about Diddy's house being raided? Yeah. Again, I don't know. I just Googled it. I didn't see it. Maybe you got the news first, but as of right now, I can't find it on YouTube. But again, if you guys do a Google, let me know. Marcella could just be bringing us some breaking news. Okay. A Green Lantern Corpse, thank you so much. You said Cassie in her arm after, I had an IV in her arm after freak off, no fluids in her system. How many girls? What hospital supplies? The IV. Sorry, the name is Barry Allen to fasten the keyboard. What's the hospital supply IV injection? Now, this is an actual good point. And this is what I mean about Cassie Hat receipts. The hospital and your medical records, because IV is medical, even if you pay for it, your medical records, I think, have to stay preserved indefinitely. Now, they do get moved off site. And that is like it's off site. And then, like, they don't keep it in the computer. But if that's the case, that's a very good catch. Cassie would have had to have, oh, sorry some type of medical recognition a medical record i thought flight logs stayed for a long time and passenger manifest but one of you guys were like no it's only about 90 days unless there's a special reason maybe but epstein's people were actually kept and it was kept for decades so i'm just saying hold on really quick you guys let me just do this real quick real quick where are we at one second I hear y'all. Hold on. Okay. Um, back. So where were we? Oh, that's right. Talking trip. Hold on. Okay. There we go. And back to what I was talking about. Okay. So anyway, Diddy's in violation. Diddy's going down. And that's why he's protecting them so much. Because at the end of the day, it's kind of like, well, what's going on with California? You can't make everybody settle. Now, 
interestingly enough, I keep going back to what did Cassie have on Diddy to make him really just act a fool. Also, I wanted to say thank you to staffers, the one and only, the prosecution team against Diddy should hire Tisa, because baby, I love you, Tisa. Thank you so much, staffers. Y'all got some beautiful Abbies. Bia, you said 3K in the chat and only 988 likes. Hit that like button. Yeah, can y'all hit that like button, please? Y'all be doing me dirty. Y'all be treating me like my name is Cassie. Y'all be, what y'all need me to do? Like bark like a dog, urf, urf, do the thing like a chicken. What y'all need me to do, please? So what do y'all honestly think, right? Because there's a bunch of other stuff we can talk about, but I feel like, oh, this is the last thing I want to say. Um, about those NDAs, remember when I said that This water is so good. Do y'all ever drink it? It's beachy. It's so yummy. I love it. Anyway, right? Remember when there were a lot of people uh, talking about they can't do anything? Why would they bring a blank, right, uh, blank worker around? Because at the end of the day, they signed NDAs to that party. Well, I looked around, right? I looked around and I talked to a few lawyers. And they said in terms of that NDA, and I'm going to get a lawyer on the channel to talk about this. They said in terms of that NDA, to get in, if you had to sign one to uh, get an FO or to get into the blank parties as a male escort, as a blank worker, as whatever, okay? A lot of people are like, first of all, they were paid for their service, so how are they going to sue If you paid somebody for a service, that is prostitution. Prostitution is only legal out at the Bunny Ranch. And I think you need a special license, even though I wouldn't put up house Diddy to get a license, right? So when it comes to that, it is an illegal contract. It is illegal dealings. It is a crime. And one of the lawyers I talked to pointed out ever so eloquently that crimes cannot be waived under an NDA. I repeat, crimes cannot be waived under an NDA, okay? They are not valid when a crime, uh, a crime connected to it has been completed. So they literally said, right? Tear up that, ND, that NDA. They might as well break it into small pieces, use it for toilet paper, paper towels, whatever you can, because that NDA, if you are a blank worker, does not hold, is not true. If you want, don't forget, California has the look back law, just like New York did. It opened the door for a lot of people. Don't forget that it expires in 2026. If you think, if you know, go and talk to a lawyer. Or if y'all want, I know a few lawyers I can refer to y'all. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I know lawyers that I can refer uh, you to. So y'all can hit me up on Tisa Tells. Um, but that's it. You, it's easy to find lawyers. Just go into a Google. Make sure they're not Google. Olga. Olga, Tasha, uh, uh, Tasha K. Nat Cerna said, I miss the creepy music. Okay, you know what? I'm going to figure out how to play the creepy music just for Nat. I like, like, I'm glad that my soothing voice isn't enough for y'all. Also, where else are we? Mm. B, thank you so much. What else did we need to talk about? There's so much to talk about. I feel like I have like 20 billion videos to make, but instead... I think I'm going to, what else is going on with the Cassie mess? Anyway, let me just quickly recap because I'll make videos about going in. One, the NDA is not valid. I'm talking about for anybody that has not sued Diddy, okay? Two, um, California has extended the look back. This is going to be really, really dangerous to still the New York people, but also the film industry and actors. Most actors most musicians, most everyone, they actually work in New York and LA. Diddy was out there. Bad Boy was out there. So many people are out in California with stories to tell. And now that that look back, the only thing is they don't know the law exists. So if you do know anyone, man or woman, 
because you know the way you did it gets down. Literally tell them, hey, you know, even if they don't react, make sure they know because the more people know about it, the more they know about it if you know what they're saying, you know. Um, let's see. I should do a disclaimer. You guys have my disclaimer. This is my opinion channel. I'm giving you what I heard. You guys do your own investigation. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. Flavia Parker Pitts at Tisa. I read the report. It's vile. And maybe I'm wrong, but I think the girl is white. Ah, Flavia. So y'all want to hear some real tea? This hasn't been confirmed. But yeah. So there's one girl that is 17. Um, I believe, or at least I have been led to believe that she is Caucasian. This has not been verified, but I've been led to believe that she is Caucasian. That was the 17 year old. The girl that is suing Aaron Hall and Diddy, I have reason to believe that I, and again, it hasn't been confirmed, but I have reason to believe that, um, that girl is not 18. And I have reason to believe that she is Caucasian. Oddly enough, Puffy wanted to procreate with black women. He wanted to keep Latinas as arm candy. He also wanted to procreate with Asian women. But when it came to the women that he like literally would get like off on one and done in the club and the bathrooms, oddly enough, those were Caucasian women. It was odd. Did he just moves like a narcissist? You know, Naughty Love Movement LLC said, you do a great job. Thanks for bringing the tea. Oh, thank you, honey. I appreciate that. Woo. Listen, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, listen, all I can say is, um, where are we at? Hold on. Let's see. I'm missing somebody. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So yeah, you guys, Green Latin Corps, thank you so much for doing it. Tattletales. I appreciate that. Y'all, honestly, this Diddy mess is getting crazier and crazier. Diddy is done. Listen, I'm doing a special report tomorrow. Please make sure you turn your notifications on. I swear it's going to be good. Let me get out of here. Um, let me, wait, what's this? Tyson's bodyguards tried to get me and a friend in a place to go on an island for a party. They stalked us. And when we got away, they yelled about white girls escaping because they going to break us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Christine, thank you so much. Who said this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But you know what? This is the last thing I'll say before I go. Y'all, all the bad boy was just rotten. Do y'all remember back in the day when Biggie Smalls was beating up Faith? beating up little Kim, beating up Charlie Baltimore. Diddy was beating up Misa. Like it was the wild west back then. And unfortunately for Diddy, it still is. I know, you know what though? It makes me wonder, he like ruined so many, if these rumors can be believed, okay? He ruined so many people's lives, made so many people feel inferior, all this stuff. It just really makes me wonder you know, they say God's timing is always right because when he was doing it, it was vile and he was like the angel, like just uh, a demon, if the reports can be believed. But imagine thinking you got away with it. Imagine he's finally in a new era, brother love, respected. Everybody wants a piece of brother love. Everybody wants this, all oh, his peace and love. He's getting his new thing. And now everybody looks at you as a bloodthirsty rapist that they got to hide their daughters and co-workers from. We should have known back then. That exception sheet was so odd. Anyway, listen, y'all, let me get back to work. I'm putting together these videos that are probably going to drop tomorrow. Please let me know what you think, all right? Hit it up in the comments, and I'm telling you, I'll come in with some good tea. So turn notifications on, and if you don't, just stop by the, problem, the, uh, the channel whenever you get time, all right? I'll, wait. Did I miss anybody before I go off? Because I hate clicking off while saying thank you. Green Latin Courts, thank you so much for uh, joining. And also Taylor of Ooh, the Lady in Red. Thank you so much 
for joining the chat. Listen, y'all, let me get out of here. I'll talk to y'all later, but tomorrow it's going to be, I'm going to do a good live and it's going to be a heavy upload day because you know your girl is investigating. Y'all, did he thought this was going to blow over? Did he talk about he's going to have to fight for his name, his people's family? That's right, baby. And we're going to be watching with popcorn while Mr. Wignor wipes the floor with you. Literally, he's going to be doing the, the Harlem stomp on him. H-Town shop. Stop. All right, guys, look at this. Luna said, get some rest, de-stress, massage, breathe. Let's go see my boyfriend. I'll be stressed. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I mean, I'm not really. Okay, guys, I got to go. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Love you too, Kelly Jewel. Love you too. Woo. All right. <laughs> Somebody said, what's side? All right. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Evelyn. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Ian. Bye, everybody. Viv's, Vivi's Daily Vlogs. Thank you. Tasha, thank you. Thank you, everybody.